Where did he even manage to find a spouse? Why does he wear a stupid hat? How can we even answer that? I've been it all been a weird part of YouTube again. Yes, I've been it all been a weird part of YouTube again. We're on a little bit of a safari today in the neighbor's cow pasture. We've got to get the raw materials to build an awesome, totally cheap worm bin. So this evening, I'm gathering what we need to build this thing. We're gonna run out of light, but that won't matter to you because through the magic of film editing, one day goes right into the next. Tomorrow morning we'll probably do the actual build. But for right now, you can watch me inhale a bug and load blocks into a wheelbarrow that's not suited for it. So I need to get it about that high. It's the next morning. This is nice and stable here. It is on a platform of rescue pavers and it is tilted so it drains this way. But our drainage is not great because there was a bunch of junk in the bottom of this bathtub so I'm gonna blast it out. That's draining well. So I set up this pipe so the height of this thing is exactly right for a five gallon bucket. So this will catch the worm leachate out of the bottom here. So let's make a little filter for the bottom here. This is permeable weed fabric. One more pat. So there's my manure. Here's some shredded paper. Looks like I'm gonna need a lot more material in here. So I guess I better get hunting. By the way, on this manure, I know that that field is not sprayed and that those cows are just eating off that field. If there's any chance that there was 
hay brought in from outside or that the field was sprayed, don't get manure, don't start with manure, just start with a bunch of shredded paper or cardboard or something like that because it's totally not worth it. Uh, some of those long-term herbicides are terrible as I've mentioned many times and as I write about in the book Compost Everything. You can destroy your garden for a really long time and the worms are not going to compost it well enough for you to know that the manure is safe. So avoid manure unless you're absolutely, absolutely sure. It's great stuff so long as it's not been poisoned. So I just put in some rotten wood and this is the remnants of my potato vines which I meant to throw around trees, as I said in that video, but I didn't get to it. I'm being careful as I pick these things up because I don't have gloves, and there are uh, trap jaw ants that live here, and they sting like hot needles. So, they like to live in rotting organic material. So sometimes you pull up a nest of them, and next thing you know, it's you've been inoculated with zillions of little stings. Before I put my worms in, one last thing here. I'm gonna throw in plenty of sand. That's how worms digest. Rather like birds with pebbles in their crops. It'll help them chew it up. There was probably plenty of sand already on those potatoes and things, but I wanna make sure the worms have plenty of teeth. Went to the local bait shop. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. I was thinking of buying online. And then, you know, I like that I could just get it right away. And I could support local businesses, which is important in these difficult times. So, I got a lot of these worms. What? Lots and lots and lots of worm activity. And I hope they live. Some of these worms look a little sleepy to me. They probably need a cup of coffee. There, guys. Cabbage mods have wrecked these collards because I don't have too many caterpillars. I have a wasp deficiency, but that's okay. Had enough collards for this year anyway. We're gonna take these guys and throw them on top in that bin. You see what we've got here already? We've got black soldier fly activity. Little flies flying around or black soldier flies. They're like, hey now, are you sure you want this to be a worm bin? Weren't you thinking of joining the BSF crew? They look like little, kind of like little wasps. So you wanna, I don't wanna throw a whole bunch of material in here that will attract them to begin with, like tons of uh, fruit or meat or that kind of thing. We want to make sure that our worm population builds up a bit first. So I'm just going to cover with collars. And In case this is too many sulfurous vegetables, I don't know if they're going to like that much. I'm gonna give them places to escape. If they want to escape over here, 
they can escape over there. If they want to go over here and eat it, they can go over there and eat it. I'm no expert on worms. I've kept them before in bins and I kept them in an old dishwasher, but I never really paid that much attention to what do they really love? What do they really like? I just kind of stuck them in there and now that everybody's watching, I don't want to do anything dumb. What happens? You find out that like, did you know collards contain collardine? Collardine will kill all your worms. Oh my gosh. Well, they can escape from the collardine over here. Oh no, that's got Pinosol in it. Pinosol comes from rotten pine material. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong on YouTube. Now this isn't an idea original to me, this, this method. This is just using uh, Jeff Lawton's method. Bathtub, some sort of a barrier over the top, a little bit of filter down at the bottom. It's real simple. I love Jeff Lawton's methods. So we're just gonna try it out. See how it works here on the other side of the world. And if we can raise happy worms the permaculture way. One more thing before I put the shade cloth on, I remembered I have to soak it down. I wanna soak everything together and make those layers all sloshy and it'll also help me test my drainage. And it's what Jeff Lawton did, so I'm going to do it. This is a tribute to Jeff Lawton. It's not a ripoff, it's a tribute. Sincerest form of flattery. Um, there's a reason I'm over here. This is a drain pipe coming out of my pond. It runs all the time. One of these days I'm gonna figure out how to pump this water all the way to the garden. But I want this water instead of water from the hose because this is alive. This doesn't have chlorine in it. I don't want to spray everything with chlorine. This will also probably add some beneficial bacteria. The thing we don't want to do is kill off the bacteria in this mix. That's part of the reason we're doing it. Keep it alive. Basically manure tea at this point. Fresh manure tea, you have to dilute that stuff. One of the main reasons we're putting this bin together is I want the worm leachate. Some people call it worm tea, but usually worm tea is when you put worm in a, worm castings in a bag and you steep it and make an aerobic compost tea. What drips out of the bottom of this is more anaerobic, but it's a super good fertilizer anyways, so we're gonna be using it. Well, it's covered up. They like dark conditions. And this will also allow air through. Got reclaimed bricks. Now we just have to wait and see what happens. I'm very excited about uh, raising worms again. It's one of those things that I was not able to do when I was down in the tropics and I missed it. And man, they are super efficient. We can get our scraps and throw our scraps in here. They'll turn it into a fertilizer for us. We could harvest the worm castings every once in a while. And we'll see if this system works. There are a lot of things that like to mess things up in the south, fire ants, possums. I have no idea what might show up and try to kill this worm bin, but I put it up off the ground and hey, in Australia everything kills everything, right? All the dangerous scary animals in the world live there. 
Jeff's doing fine. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited about it, and then, hey, it cost me almost nothing. A little bit of weed cloth. These are free. The worms were more expensive than anything else. Bathtub was free. That little silverware drawer thing that I stuck in the bottom for a filter, that was free. Got a few bucks into it, and uh, hopefully it was a few bucks well spent, because if we could get organic, bacteria-rich fertilizer for the garden every day, sounds great. Very happy to have that, and one thing our soil really needs is life. So leave comments. What do you think about the system? Have you built systems? What's your favorite? Leave me a, uh, a comment below. Like I said, I'm no expert on vermiculture, but I love doing it, and I've just kind of been a, a worm-raising hobbyist for a while, and this is, the, this is the latest iteration. We'll see how it goes. So tell me how your adventures with worms have gone, and until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David. David the Good We listened to Portis Head And drank Spiced Rum You just have to see my camera woman. <laughs> You're totally missing out. I, don't, I can't even do this video. She's too distracting. <laughs>